blessings. If you are not continuing to count your blessings, <laughs> I don't think it is possible for you to count it. <laughs> because that you are even breathing in and breathing out is not by your own power. Now begin to thank, give thanks to Almighty God. This God that makes it possible for you to sleep and wake up. This God that did not allow the price of enemies to come into manifestation into your life. This God that always gives his angel charge over your life. Now begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Because he is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be honored. Begin to thank him. Because he is the almighty and the everlasting king. Begin to thank him. Because he is the all-sufficient father. Begin to thank him. Because he's the God that ascended by fire. Begin to thank him. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the, now tell him to show you mercy. Tell him to show you mercy. Let the mercy of God speak for you. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Excellent Jehovah, show me mercy. My fellow God, show me mercy. Let your mercy speak for me, my father. Let your mercy speak for me, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now remind him that this is the month of October. I don't know the day what you want God to do in your life in this month. Now begin to speak to this month. Tell this month how you want this month to be in your life. Tell to speak to this month. This month has ears. This month hears. Now begin to speak to this month of October. Tell month of October how you want the thing to be in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now begin to speak to the remaining days in this year, 2023. Tell the remaining days what you want this remaining days to bring into you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now remind you that today is a day prayer meeting. And today is the first of day in this month of October. Tell him as he's going around doing good that he should not pass you by. That you don't want to reach the side of prayer meeting empty handed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. In the excellent name of Jesus. Now tell him that the time to favor you has come. Tell him that the time to favor you has come. This is the time for your favor. The time for God to favor you has come. Tell him that the remaining days in this year, 2023, you will just tell him to usher you into that realm of favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tell him that you want to swim. You want to swim in that realm of favor. You want to swim in that realm of favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Now remind him. Remind him. That let him build a wall of fire. Around you. Around your home. Around the life of your loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name my father. Hallow be to your name, my maker. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you. Abba, Father, we celebrate your faithfulness. Original God, we give you thanks, we give you praise. Genuine God, what a mighty God we serve. You are greater than the greatest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the God Almighty. You are the ancient of this. You are the Bible of Gilead. You are the God that answers prayer. I call you the healer is in town. That is who you are. I call you way maker. That is who you are. I call you miracle worker. That 
In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Power! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, my Maker. Be that glorified. Be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Tell your neighbor that they are all welcome to Sunday prayer meeting. Amen. Amen and amen. As you are invited, welcoming your neighbor, I want you to jam those hands together for the King of Kings. Jam those hands together for the Lord of Lords. Jam those hands together for the Lord strong and mighty. Jam those hands together for the Lord mighty in battle. Jam those hands together in the name of Jesus. He is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. If you're excited to be in God's presence, I want you to shout praise. Hallelujah. So which means that when you shout praise, you will not see yourself that till the end of this year, celebration will not cease from your domain. Amen. So if you're excited for what God is doing in this God's ministry, whatever you are, I want you to, I want you to shout praise. Hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> Praise. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> Praise. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> Praise. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> Praise. Our God is a good God. Amen. Amen. Announcement. Don't forget that every first Tuesday of the month is our prayer for children. Amen. And don't forget, by God's God, the ministry, this ministry is taking another shape. Amen. I will soon lead to the address for those of us in Hanover, Medazak, St. Germany. Amen. But for those that are not here in Hanover, the Dazassin, don't worry, it will be live on YouTube channel by God's grace. Amen. So, if you want to join this, this platform, it's not bad. The platform is still on. The only thing is that you will not be seeing you in, that, in this platform we are using now. You will not be seeing me. You will just be hearing my voice. You will not be seeing me. Amen. So, if you want to see me, it just you just... Go to our YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is Aneneka. Amen. You look for Aneneka YouTube channel. That is where you will be seeing us live. And this particular program called Saturday Prayer Meeting is a uniform program. The dress code is black down and the white up. But nevertheless, if you don't have black down, white up, join, just come. Let us pray. Amen. Bible says, man ought to pray. Amen. So prayer is good. Is a command. Is a, it, 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 good. God commanded us say that we command us to be doing what to be praying. Amen. And not only time, the only thing that we should pray as well without ceasing. So it's a command from our God that we are to do what we are to pray. But the only problem there is that 
You should understand that it's not every prayer that you pray that is productive, that is fruitful. Amen. But whilst you are growing, you should just go to the extent that when you pray, you will see that something is happening, that God answers prayer. Let nobody deceive you. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. And maybe you have been praying and you have not even seen answer. Believe me, these are the three things I used to explain to you in this ministry that you should just bear these three things in mind. Sometimes you will pray, God will just give you speedy answer by giving you answer, yes. Sometimes you will pray, He will tell you that yes, but there, is, there, there are obstacles on the way. There are preparations and powers on the way. What do you expect God to do? He now do, use the method we call wait. So there is a waiting season. Amen. You wait for him to clear the road for you. So that the, uh, the, 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 the answer will not come into manifestation. Amen. And there is a stage we call no. So which means that it's not every prayer that you pray that God answers. Amen. program called Saturday prayer meeting as you all know that it starts third Saturday in the month of January and end November but because the ministry is taking another shape the Saturday prayer meeting will see end November but December till January we are still praying we are still coming with our uniform with Saturday prayer minute with a Saturday prayer meeting as normal time 3 o'clock p.m. amen but as the ministry is taking another shape <laughs> That particular one we are starting there, we are starting December and January is not is not Saturday prayer meeting. Amen. It's not Saturday prayer meeting. But we are still coming with uniform. Still the same thing we are doing Saturday prayer meeting is still what we'll be doing there. Amen. So the only problem is that that is another name, which you will hear the name later. Amen. And don't forget. That as this ministry is taking another shape, please, as you are joining, whether you are coming here live or you are joining online, make sure that you join this ministry with your Bible, with your pen, with your paper. And every first act of the month, make sure you are joining with your oil and your water. But because the ministry is taking another shape, we will be coming to Saturday prayer meeting every Saturday with water. Amen. We'll be coming with water every Saturday. Amen. That, it, that the oil is only, anointing service is only first and third of the month. Amen. But, but it doesn't, it, it does not mean that, okay, you want to come after that first Saturday of the month with your oil. It, does, it doesn't matter. You can as well come. Share now you go carry them for your bank. No problem. Come. Amen. It's not bad thing. It's, a, it's our own weapon. So if you feel like coming, Every Saturday with it is not bad, it's not the same. You can come with it, amen. But every first Saturday of the week of the every first Saturday of the month will be is our anointing service as usual. I'm going to pray for oil, bless the oil, then you apply it as you normally do, amen. The water as well. The only difference is that water is every Saturday. Water is every Saturday, amen. And don't forget that you normally, we normally have our fasting in few months' time. December to enter January, don't forget. And for this Saturday prayer meeting, like I used to advise people, fasting is not a sin, it's not a bad thing. It's, it's, even, it's a good thing. These are fasted 40 days and 40 nights. So it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. It's, it's for your own good. It will even be nice if you can form the habit of fasting every Saturday. For those of you that don't fast at all, it's only when I declare fasting before you fast. Form it as a habit. Learn how to fast. You can fast from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. You can fast from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Depends on your capacity. As time goes, as you are going, you extend the time. Amen. It's for your own good. Then, some of you that are even having ulcer. Some of you that are having ulcer. Or you are sick, you feel that you don't you will not fast because you are sick. 
In this ministry, we don't advise people that are sick not to fast. Amen. Even if that you are sick, you are to fast. The only thing that you should understand that when it comes to fasting, fasting is abstinence of food. Amen. So if you are sick in your body and you want to fast, please make sure you are with your water. As you are fasting, be drinking a lot of water. That is why I am putting in a way that Saturday for your meeting will be coming every Saturday with water. Amen. So it doesn't matter that sickness that you that he will, they, they will weigh you down. It is you that will weigh the sickness down now, not even the sickness weighing you down. Amen. So if you are sick in the body, you can fast from 6 o'clock till 9 o'clock. Drink water as you started the fasting. In the midst of the fasting, be drinking your water. You will not see that that sickness will disappear. Amen. I know some of you will be shocked. Fasting is abstain. You just abstain yourself from food. Water is not food. Amen. Water is not food. So you can drink water. It will even help you. It will help you. You will even see that if you are this type that is always weak, 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 or because you are sick, you cannot even fast from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Then try this method and, and this secret. I don't give you expo today. Try this expo. I'm giving you this for this expo because we are to, the ministry is taking another level. So it's for your own good. So for some that will now dodge that I have over the disaster because you are fasting. <laughs> you are fasting, you don't you watch online. It's not bad. Watching online is good, it's not bad, it doesn't matter. But I want to advise you as I'm teaching, be learning what I'm teaching you. It's for your own good. Get water, drink the water. Make sure you are taking, when it comes to water, take enough water as you are fasting. That sickness will disappear. That sickness will bow, not you bowing to the, to the sickness. So it doesn't matter that your sickness, that seems all the time, that sickness didn't hear my, the voice of a woman of God at the neck. This is time for that sickness to pack their load and do what? And go. Tell the sickness, pack your load and go. Amen and amen. So don't forget. So those of you that have been watching us via YouTube channel as well, join the program as well with your water. Because this one is not the type that we cut some and put some and upload. Everything, you just be seeing everything live. Amen. Some people that subscribe to the channel was asking me that every first Saturday of the month, that they always wait for the upload because they don't join us here in, in this hour on this our platform. They always wait for, <laughs> for the session of oil and water that I don't upload it. I told them uh, they will begin to see it as we are moving to uh, another level. Amen. So, for those that will still watch this video <laughs> after the upload, good news. You will begin to see the anointing session and the water session as we are to start in open place in the mighty name of Jesus. And don't forget... That you are watching online is not a guarantee that as the ministry is taking another shape, still drop your offering so that you will not be offline. Amen. Somebody was asking me that I don't upload where we take offering. You see, I told the person I don't take offering. No. The person, I said, no, the ministry has been three years plus. I do the program like that. I don't take offering. That I, I only start taking off as we are moving to a better place now. The person was just like, ah, that he thought that I take offering, but I don't upload. And I said, no, if we are taking, if we are taking offering, we upload it in our abbey. That we are not taking offering all this while. But we are collecting people pay their tithes and sow their seed. That is what we do. But for offering, all these three years plus, we are doing it on this platform. We don't collect offering. We don't collect offering. So all of you that have been not be Paying your offering. The time for you to pay offering has come. That set up is now. Amen. <laughs> uh, our anthem for this ministry. So, before, before we move to our main thing, hold your neighbor because we need to sing this our anthem. Hold your neighbor because the anthem will take a better shape so that you can see people you are holding. Amen. We are heads of the Father, of the Father. We are joined here. 
We adore with a song. above your head as we are to call upon the owner of the whole universe. As we are to call upon the God that gives a deeper inspiration in his words. As we are to deploy this God in this world session. He always proved himself mighty. He always proved that he is the God almighty. He always proved that he is the almighty and everlasting king. He always proved that he is the all-sufficient king. He always proved that he is the God that answered by fire. He always proved himself mighty. Now lift it up above your head. And we have to sing the anthem. I call it anthem. I call it anthem. So as we are to sing this anthem, something will begin to happen. Something will begin to happen. dominion. Amen. It's our month of total dominion. Amen. And it's taken from the book of Psalm 8 verse 6 and Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Amen. Psalm 8 verse 6 says, You have made him to have dominion over the works of, the, of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. So which means that when you dominate, things will be under your feet. Amen. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says, then God, then God said, let us make man in our own image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. We are talking of total dominion. If you, when it comes to dominion, as you're a Christian, you can have dominion, you can dominate. But total dominion is not for everybody. You cannot enjoy total dominion. If there are some ingredients that needed to apply, it's not there. You cannot enjoy that total dominion. You need to enter into that realm that any place you go, you take charge. You dominate. If you did not have all these spices, it is very difficult 
for you to enjoy this total dominion. So why am I trying to explain here? For you to enjoy this total dominion, the ball is in your court. It's not God that will come from heaven to come and do it for you. It's your own duty to apply it. Because it's you that knows what you want. One thing you should understand is this. In life, as far as this life is concerned, you need God. You need God. It's only in God that you will now enjoy total dominion over and all things. He gave us the promise. That he made us in his own image. And he then commanded us to have dominion over everything. So it's only in him that this anointing for total dominion lies. If God don't know you, you cannot enjoy this total dominion. It's only available for those that God knows. I pray for you this afternoon that God will know you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because when God knows you, you will begin to enjoy this total dominion. So which means that everything will be under your feet. Which means that you will have control everything. Both spiritually and physically. There are some people that in life, they only dominate physically. In the realm, they don't dominate. So which means that you are, you are not even enjoying total dominion. If you are enjoying total dominion, in the dream, they will not beat you up. Masquerade will not chase you. Masquerade will not even penetrate your dream life. The promise of God concerning his children is to do what? Is to enjoy total dominion. level. You will not reach that level. Because Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 Bible says that the, Bible says then God blessed them and God said to them be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and subdue it have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and the, over every living thing that moves on the earth. So, which means that when this dominion, when you now begin to enjoy this dominion, any place you go, you will take authority. If you are enjoying total dominion, brethren, anything you want, you are to speak. That is why you need a prophet. Because there are some areas that you will reach that you need a grace. You need grace that will carry you, shift you, lift you. The promise of God concerning his children is for us to be fruitful. It's for us to multiply. For us to, for us to do what? To have dominion over everything that moves on this earth. Now ask yourself, you ask yourself, do you even dominate at all? That's your territory. Do you even dominate? That uh, that dominion. God has already given us that authority that we should dominate. We should have dominion over everything. God has already given, us, given it to us. It is you that knows the area you want to apply it. It is you that knows the area that you need there to dominate. Over 
sin. You don't allow, if you want to walk in total dominion, you don't allow your flesh to rule you. You don't. Because once you allow this flesh to, to, to rule you, you will not walk in total dominion. I pray for you this evening that God will help you. Your flesh will not rule you again in the mighty name of Jesus. If you want to walk in total dominion, once you don't have the word, which is Jesus Christ, if you don't have this word, if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you cannot walk in total dominion. You cannot even rule in life. In this life, grace and righteousness still operate by the word of God. You see grace? You see righteousness? It is still... It, it operates through the word of God. What do I mean by dominion? Is to have control over something. To have power over something. Or to have authority to rule. I pray for you. That starting from today, you will begin to enjoy total dominion in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. How to possess, possess total dominion? You need it. Number one is the world. The world. Bible says in the book of Psalm 107 verse 20, Psalm 107 verse 20, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their distortions. So you need the word of God if you want to possess total dominion. How often do you study your Bible? How often? Or after today's ministration, you just... You just end it like that. How often do you study your Bible? If you want to enjoy total dominion, you need the world. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is strong. The word of God carries light. How do you know that it carries light? Bible said in the book of Psalm 19 verse 2. Say, Psalm 19 verse 2. Day unto day utters speech. And night unto night reveals knowledge. It carries light. When you begin to study the word of God. You will not see. That it will just be entering you. It will be entering you. It will be in your DNA, in your blood. It will be there. Once you form the habit of studying the world, it will be there. But if you don't form the habit of studying the world all the time, it will not be there. It will just be empty. How do I know? Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. It shall not depart from your mouth. But the, the thing, the number one thing is that you shall meditate in it day and night. So which means that when you study the word, you need to meditate. So that it will be entering your blood. When you begin to do it, you will see that the word of God have a spring press in your life. If you really want to enjoy total dominion, under the word of God, I have the one I title A. Believe the word. To read the word of God or to study it is not the problem. The other thing we Christians have is that do you believe that word? Do you believe the world? Faith is what gives you access to the grace. If you don't have faith, you cannot have access to grace. And the righteous, and the righteous of God, it takes faith to receive the abundance of grace. So you need to believe.
believe the word. As you are studying the Bible, believe it. The B is preach the gospel to every creature. How often do you talk to people? How many people have you even preached this week? How many people have you even tell Jesus is Lord? Bible says that we should seek here the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto it. So, so winning is still important. You can preach, you, you have to form the habit of preaching the word to the people around you. Let them know what you're carrying. Let them know what is inside you. So you need to preach the gospel to every creature. Bible said in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 15. Mark 16 15. And he said to them, go into all, go in, into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Jesus speaking that you should go and preach. How many people did you preach? How many people have you even talked to and tell them that Jesus is Lord? Jesus is telling us that as we are even preaching, it is not even for ourselves. We are preaching Jesus. We are preaching Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5 says, For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus. The Lord and ourselves, you are both servants for Jesus' sake. So you must declare the word to everybody and everything around you. You declare the word. In the life of your children, even the unborn one, declare the word. Look for a Bible passage and drop it on that child. Speak all the time. You pick that Bible passage and I say, I speak into your life. This will be your passion. Begin to de declare that word upon their lives. To yourself, declare that word that you are the light. That the kings will come to your lightings. You need to declare it. I pray for you this evening. As you begin to preach the gospel to every creation, the God of all flesh will begin to give you, will begin to usher you into this realm that you enjoy total dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus. The sea under this world is be a witness of the world. You need to be a witness of this world. Tell them the Holy Spirit is real. Tell them that Holy Spirit is real. If you have not, tell them if they have not even witnessed it, they need to witness this power. They need to witness the power of Holy Ghost. It's real. Bible said in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Acts of Apostle chapter 1 verse 8. Bible said, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria. And to the end of the earth. So after walking in the works of the world. By the Holy Ghost, you will go about telling God, telling others that the word works. You will begin to encourage people around you to walk with walk with God. W A L K. Because whenever Holy Spirit arrives, things will begin to happen. Problem Christians are having today is that. Because you bless in the Holy Ghost. Because you speak in tongues. When Holy Spirit comes, you will speak. When Holy Spirit goes, you will speak. It's only if you are sensitive. You will not notice that you are not you are no longer in order. You are no longer in order. Because that is what confuses many Christians today. They will be falling, backsliding, yet they still be speaking in tongues. They thought that they are still that everything is still okay. Who told you? Examine yourself. 
That is why when Holy Spirit comes, the evidence is that in the, the wind will come like a, 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 a mighty rushing, rushing water. Mighty rushing breeze. Everybody will begin to blast like the Holy Ghost. Everybody will fall under that ocean. Because you are still speaking, you thought that you are still okay. You know, you know yourself. You know you are not doing well. You know that you are not even coming. That is still confusing you. Brother, let me tell you. You need to be, all the time, you need to be examining yourself. You need to be praying that God will help you. You need to be, you need to be telling people around you that you are a witness of the world. That each time you receive this power, immediately the Holy Spirit comes, that there is a power you normally receive. That you not tell them, come, let's see it. That immediately the word comes, that there is the power, Holy Spirit will move. Power of God will move, you will receive it. You will not, the evidence of you receiving it, you will begin to speak in different tongues. I pray for you this evening that God will help you. You will begin to tell people that you are a witness of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. You begin to tell people that Holy Spirit is not a scam. That is not a scam. It's real in the mighty name of Jesus. The big part is that you should teach others. Teach others. Teach others. People around you be teaching them. Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20 says, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has given has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you to. Yo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So you need to go and teach them. Teach people. For you to, enjoy, for you to possess this total dominion. You need this ingredient. Number two is that you do the work of Jesus. You do the work of Jesus. Do you want to possess total dominion in your life? Do the work of Jesus. Bible says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 2. John chapter 14 verse 2. Most assembly I said to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And better works than this, he will do because I go to my father. Do you believe in Jesus? If you believe in Jesus, you will do the work of Jesus. He will go to his father. How many times, how often do you pray? How often do you pray? How often do you pray? Now begin to tell Father that you are coming to him this evening. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. You are coming to him this evening. Tell him that you are coming to him this evening. Bible says. Bible says in the book of John chapter 14, 12, he said, Most assembly I said to you, he who believes in me, the work that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these, he will do because I will go to my father. 
Your only means of going to this, our Father, is only by praying. Is only by praying. This is time for you to go to my Father. Then begin to pray. Tell him that you are in his presence. You are in his presence. Let him come and assist you. Let him come and help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let him come and help you. Let him usher you into that realm. That will make you to begin to walk in total dominion. That we make you to begin to officiate into that realm of total dominion. Tell him, tell him, tell him that you want to begin to walk. You want to begin to see yourself in that realm, in that realm of total dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You want to begin to see yourself. When you talk, you'll be talking with authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you want to begin to see yourself. Where you walk, you begin to walk in authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tell him as you are in his presence. You are in his presence. Let him usher you into that realm of total dominion. Let him usher you into that realm of total dominion. Let him usher you into that realm of total dominion. Let him usher you into that realm of total dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. We are going to pray. Hallowed be to your name, my Maker. Be that glorified. Be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, open my understanding concerning the scriptures in the mighty name of God. You need your understanding you need to open. When God open your understanding, it will help you so that each time you study the word of God, you will understand it. You want to walk in total dominion. Your understanding needs to be open so that as you study the world, you will not notice that before you study, you need to invite Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit will give you deeper inspiration. He knows your ability. He will dissect it in, in such a way that you will understand it. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, in the mighty name of Jesus, help open my understanding concerning the scriptures in the name of Jesus. Open my understanding, O oh God. Open my understanding, my Father. Concerning scriptures, my Father. Concerning scriptures, my Father. Concerning scriptures, my Father. Concerning scriptures, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open, open, open my understanding concerning scriptures. Open my understanding concerning scriptures. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the marvelous name of Jesus, in the glorious name of Jesus. Thank you, Father in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray that God will open your understanding concerning scriptures. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, let me be willing to be clay in your hands. Ready to be molded as your desire. Because if you, if God help you to be a clay in God's hand, brethren, you will walk in total dominion. If he help you, he he just help you to be. If God help you, you are not becoming a clay in His hand. So which means that He will be the one to mold you. It's better for Him to mold you so that you can walk in total dominion. It's better for Him to mold you so that things will begin to work out for you spiritually and physically, so that all the powers that are fighting you will bow down. So that you can walk in total dominion. Open your mouth and pray the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, O oh God of all flesh, let me be willing to be clear in your hands, O oh God. Ready to be more than as your desire. 
mother. Ready to be murdered. My father, I am ready to be murdered. I am ready to be murdered as your desire. As your desire. As your desire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father in heaven. Thank you, man of war. Blessed be to your holy name, my father. Hallowed be to your name, my maker. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I see the God of all flesh, the God that answers prayer. I see him molding you as you desire in the mighty name of Jesus. I see him molding you as our God desire in the mighty name of Jesus. You will begin to see yourself in another realm of total dominion. Because you will begin to see, I am walking in dominion, amen. Walking in dominion, I am walking in dominion. When you talk, you talk in authority. I am walking in them. When you speak, you speak in authority. I am walking in dominion. Are you walking in dominion? I am walking in dominion. Are you walking in authority? I am walking in dominion. Amen. I see the God Almighty pushing you to that realm of total dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, give me a voice where I couldn't speak before. In any prayer that you couldn't speak before, you are going to pray for him to give you a voice. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give me a voice, give me a voice, give me a voice where I couldn't speak before, where I couldn't speak before. Father, give me a voice, give me a voice. In the name of Jesus, give me a voice where I couldn't speak. Where I couldn't speak. Where I couldn't speak before. Where I couldn't speak before. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the marvelous name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I see the God Almighty giving you a voice where you couldn't speak before in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Genesis chapter 21 verse 1, Genesis chapter 21 verse 1, Bible says, And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. We are going to, we are going to say, Father, visit me as you have said. Do unto me as you have spoken. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, visit me, visit me, as you have said. Do unto me as you have spoken. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, visit me, visit me, as you have said in the name of Jesus. Visit me as you have said in the name of Jesus. Do unto me as you have spoken. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the marvelous name of Jesus. Thank you, Father in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I see the God of all flesh doing unto you as he has spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I begin to tell him thank you for this session. Tell him thank you for this session. Tell him thank you for this session. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this session. 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 In the mighty name of God, thank you for this session. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. If you have prayed all this prayer, and you have not even accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, all this prayer have been praying since you just paid it on credit. You need to accept, you need God in your life. You need God in your life. You want to walk in total dominion. You need God. He is the only one that will give you access. You need Him. You need to walk with Him. You need Him. You is for your own benefit. So if you have not accepted this Jesus that is doing me well, this Jesus that makes me to walk in total dominion, this Jesus that whenever his name is being deployed, something normally happens. Not only in the realm, it will come into a manifestation. You need this Jesus. So if you have not even accepted this Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, this is the time. There is the song in my language that nobody says. This is the time you will, you, will, you will knock at the door and the door will open to you. Because it's only living that, as, praise God, it's only living that accept Jesus. That man, that woman cannot even accept this Jesus. He, the song says, Uba boge, I got church in a kebuya. Uba boge, I got kwaka nuzo mere. Uba boge, I got church in a kebuya. Uba boge, I got kwaka nuzo mere. So it's only now that you are a living, that when you are looking for God, you will see God. It's only now that you can breathe in and breathe out. That when you knock at this door, the door will be open to you. There is no repentance in the grave, brethren. No repentance in the grave. As I used to tell you, salvation is free, but it's not easy. That is why it's a personal decision. It is you that decide whom you will serve. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I don't know about you. So if you already made up your mind, to accept this Jesus that is doing me good. And you want to accept this Jesus so that you can walk in total dominion. Walking in total dominion is very important as a believer. So that no power can oppress you. It is very important. You are the one to enjoy it. You are the one to enjoy it, not God. It's for your own good. You need to walk in total dominion. So if you already ask, if you already make up your mind to accept this Jesus. I want you to, to oh it's better for you. I don't know about you. Maybe in your church you are lifting pray, you are in a prayer department. You are in a choir department. All the kingdom services you belong there, but you should examine yourself. You are deceiving yourself. There are people there, they know your category. It doesn't matter how you carry the mic. They know your category. They know your category. How will you feel on that day? People will see you on that place. We now begin to ask you, wow, so you never come here. Heaven is real. Heaven is real. I normally ask this question. Where will you spend your eternity? How will you feel in this earth, on this earth? You don't have anything. You don't have anything. No expensive thing you don't even have. And after all your suffering here, you will still go. And you, 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 you now enter the worst. How will you feel? How will you feel? That one, my people call that one, so that one means heaven, or, or, or ending heaven, or ending hell, or ending hell. The, the hell, it will not end, that one. It will not end. But because I love you, I don't want you to enter that kingdom. The kingdom of God is real. Heaven is real. How will you feel on that day? <laughs> Satan will not come and tell you that you belong to Satan kingdom. It may be late. Because when you lift your, head, your face up, you are just talking on your own. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way. Ask rich man and Lazarus. They, will, they are in a good position to give you answer. There is no way. Then you will not shout. Nobody will even hear you. You can even observe them that you are alive. That when somebody dies, everybody will follow the person. Everybody will be crying. The day they will bury the person. Everybody will move to that burial ground where they will bury the person. After the, once they cover that person, everybody 
will leave you. Everybody will disappear to you. They will just make to your tent, O Israel. You will just be there. So we mean that on that judgment day, you will not you will only be there. You will not be there with your husband. You will not be there with your wife. You will not be there with your neighbor or your children or your loved ones. You will only be to only you. So it's only you alone that will face the judgment. How will you feel on that day? At the, on that day, God will not tell you, hey, this one is my own. This one is my own. How would you feel that day? There will be my there will be a sound of victory in the heaven that day that you belong to this kingdom. Then how would you feel on that day that, you, that God will just tell you, get out of my way, you bad child. You bad child. How would you feel on that day? 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 For the for the thing not to be late. It, for, 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 for it not to be too late. It's better for you to take this decision now. It's better for you to take the decision now. to a believer. Just say after me. And after this program, chat me up with me. I need to follow you up. Just say after me. Maybe you are once believer, but you are not even sure if you are still at the time. You can still rededicate your life to Christ. You can still. So maybe you have fallen into all these categories. Just say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I accept you. As Lord and Savior, I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. With my mouth, I declare you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. If you have prayed this prayer, don't, fail, don't forget, chat me up after this program. I need to follow you up. When we accepted Jesus, they didn't tell us that attack will come. They didn't tell us that we will go. We just accept the thing and they pray, they go. Attack, they come. Wanted to even kill us. Brethren, let me tell you. Bible says that all things has passed away. All things has passed away. Mm. It's true when you accept Jesus. But why you, I need to follow up, you need to confess. Oh. You need to confess. So oh. <laughs> You must confess. All things will pass away, but you need to confess it from your mouth. When you confess it with your mouth, you ask for God's mercy to speak for you. He will forgive you. He's a forgiving father. As he forgives you for the wrongdoings you have already done. Brethren, altar, that your family altar, that your foundation, not they pass away. You still need to handle it. Amen. You still need to handle it. Doesn't, it do, that one doesn't pass away. So that is why you can be born again. 20 years, your power from your father's side, from your mother's house will fight you. He is a monster. So, but you need to follow it accordingly. So, you will not separate yourself from it. Problem we are having today is that you don't know that you need to separate yourself from that, from that chain. You don't want to carry everybody along. Everybody. Those who you are carrying along, the devil that they want to accept Jesus. You that accepted, your case is different. You separate yourself from the powers. From your foundation. You leave the foundation. You leave whatever thing there to be on their own. You will be on your own. What kills people today is that 
when they accept, they want to force everybody. But again, believer is not by force. Amen. It's not by force. It's by determination. You are to determine. You know what is good and what is right. Of course, I, I'm a biologist. In tongue, tongue has four sides. The other part, side is salty. Salty. So, the other one is sweet. The other one is bitter. The other one is sour. So, which means that when something that is salty enters your tongue, you can dictate it. Hello? When something that is sweet enters there, you can dictate it. That is how tongue is. So, you that want to tell bitter, sour, and the salty to come overnight and become sweet, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Amen. I pray that God will help you in the mighty name of God. This session is the session we call Opentable Fire. In this Opentable Fire session, you are this type that you want the fire of God in your altar to continue. You want to be increasing. You want to be increasing. You want when you pray, you will begin to enjoy the presence of God. <laughs> You want to enter that realm that you should know that if you don't pray, that Satan will mess you up. So you need to be praying. You want to enter that realm that even when you are in your bedroom or your toilet or your or your cooking, you are working, you pray. This is the session we call unquenchable fire. So what this session does is that when this session hits you, all everything in your life that is dead will jump back to life. Your prayer life will jump back to your to life. Your altar, in the, uh, the fire of God in your altar will jump back to life. Even you, the way you worship God before, you will now begin to see yourself in another realm. So everything that is dead will jump back to life. Then the ones that are not dead, but they are not speed, they are not for speed. Nehemiah and nothing will now penetrate there. So that I have seen I have seen people that makes me to laugh. How can you show, say that you are a believer? There is an emergency of worship. You are still thinking of worship. What will you worship? It does not mean that you are not a believer. You are a believer, but you need this unquenchable fire session. Because the Bible said that we should... God was telling, open your mouth, I will feel it. So which means that you don't need to think of the worship that will come. What you needed that time is just to open your mouth. I used to tell you in this ministry that a few years ago in my country, Nigeria, that we have a, a, a believer's gathering. So we now told one of... One of our mamas there to lead us in prayer. He started to sing I was there. Immediately others started to bluster. Laugh. Laugh. I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh. I pick up. I pick up. Before you know what to do, everywhere, everywhere was heated, electrocuted. Electrocuted. The what we wanted to do, we now move to another level. We move another level. Everywhere was electrocuted. That is why you should be. You know, we normally advise people that all this worldly music, you should stay away from it if you want, if you accept Jesus as, as your Lord and personal Savior. Because as we are listening, if you find the habit of listening, it will just go to your brain and store and store there. So when you want to worship, the only thing that will come up there is that worldly music. That is why believers are not advised to listen to all this worldly music. Because it will be there. It will be there. So don't form the habit of listening to all this worldly music. Train yourself in the social way, way that you will just be listening to godly music. Godly music. It will even help you to grow. It will help you to grow. It will help you to grow as we are forming it. Learn it. Learn it. Learn it. Learn it. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. Because there is what prayer cannot do, but when you deploy worship, worship will do it immediately. Sometimes you may not even have that strength. You may not even be opportune to begin to pray long prayer. You just deploy worship. Immediately something, the place will be heated immediately. If every will be electrocuted. I pray for you. As you enter this realm of unquenchable fire, every time you want to minister, everywhere will burst on fire. Everywhere will be electrocuted. For, so for those that want to enter this realm of unquenchable fire, at the count of three, Take it. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Or quenchable fire session. Or quenchable fire session. Take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus, 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 power, yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord, 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 unquenchable yes, fire session, unquenchable fire session. Unquenchable fire session. Unquenchable fire session. Unquenchable fire session. In the mighty name of Jesus. Unquenchable fire session. Unquenchable fire session. Unquenchable fire session. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name 